for it all. DJI Osmo Pocket 3 because it's super easy. DJI Osmo Pocket. So if you didn't know, the DJI Pocket 3 side of the microphone. What a waste of love. So the Osmo Action 3, it actually came out a few months ago and at the time of its release I wasn't really interested in it at all. It didn't really grab my attention, hold on let me figure this out, oh perfect. But just recently I have started doing client work, doing videography jobs for other motorcycle content creators and I've wanted to get into doing the rolling shots of the motorcycles and there's a few ways to do it. There's the OG way where you put a camera on a gimbal and you stick your head out the passenger window or you sit in the back seat and film roller shots that way. And I've done that before, but it's just the legalities of that way are kind of sketchy, especially here in Australia. And recently I've been seeing a lot of the kind of gimbal camera setups that are mounted onto the car itself and they're controlling it from inside of the car with a, like a PS4 controller. So basically today I went onto YouTube trying to look up those setups, do a bit of research on them, see how much they cost kind of thing. And I came across this video. Basically he hooked up the Osmo Pocket to the back of his car with a mount, rode up the mountain as he usually would and just let the camera record, tracked, locked onto the car behind him and just getting a beautiful cinematic shot and a light bulb just popped into my head. I was like, wow, I could do that same thing, but with a motorcycle so just mount the Osmo Pocket 3 to the back of my motorcycle then have a rider behind me lock on the shot and get a smooth roller shot just like that it's obviously not going to be nowhere near as beautiful clean and crispy as a proper gimbal roller shot with a cinema camera it's one inch sensor so I'm currently on the way to the store right now to pick it up right now buying it with my own money picking it up I've been trying to save money recently but this thing just ticked all of my boxes it looks it looks way too good Honestly, DJ, I should probably sponsor me for how well I'm talking about this thing right now before I even have it. So stick around to the end of the video. We're going to be trying out my theory, testing it, getting some cinematic shots with this thing after I go and pick it up right now. Don't mind me just coming through. If you're a person that's into cameras, you know how excited I am right now. I love getting new stuff coming through. All right, we'll slot in here. It went green. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta make sure to show them appreciation. And we at the front just like that. Ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah, ah oh, yeah. Sorry. Alright, let's go pick this thing up. And boom, there it is, the Osmo Pocket 3. We got the creator combo. We're gonna head home, get this thing unboxed, and see what it's capable of. Here we go, we got the Osmo Pocket 3 creator bundle. So we're gonna get this all set up, head out tomorrow, see what we can get with it. And actually one of the biggest reasons I got this new Osmo Pocket 3 is because when filming rollers, obviously you need two people. You need the person driving the car and you need the person working the camera. With this, hopefully it's just a one man setup. If all goes well, it should be, it should be a one man setup. Put the camera on the back, set it up, and just ride my normal ride whilst behind me there's some sick cinematic shots going down. So we're back out on the bike, it's the next day. I'm going to meet up with a friend. He actually just got a brand new R3. We haven't met before, we haven't ridden before, so this should be sick. And hopefully later on during the day, we'll test out the Osmo Pocket 3 on him and see how the roller shots come out. So we're just going to meet up with him right now. Yeah, that's clean. Nice to, meet nice to finally meet you, bro. I just pulled in. Put the exhaust back on? Yeah, for now. <laughs> it's way too loud. Yeah. Yeah, it's so clean. So you just pull it down? Yeah, yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's... Oh, my. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Dude. That is very loud, though. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> that's cool. 
Yeah. Hey, we got the same helmet. Yeah. <laughs> it looks clean. All right, and we have made it to the mountain. This is actually the second time we've made it to the mountain because we've already been up once, but I had the camera messed up. On the Insta360, you can do that two times crop, and I had that turned on by accident. I don't know how I had that turned on, but the footage looked like this. So basically, completely not usable. So this is our second run. The pass is quite wet, so we're gonna be taking it easy. Oh yeah, I just felt the wheel slip out a bit there. Oh yeah. I'm trying to follow his line because he has a really nice line up here. But obviously he, he was saying his tires are slipping out a lot so he's taking it easy as well. actually speeding it just looks like we're going fast because we're leaning and stuff <laughs> so hopefully they're not coming back for us <laughs> that was a smoother run anyway than the first one so <laughs> it's so foggy <laughs> you can hardly see anything it's really dark as well. I wonder if the camera can see right now. Yeah, no, that was pretty smooth. I love following your line because I don't really know what oh, to take. No, I wouldn't trust my line. <laughs> really? I was following yours and they felt a lot smoother and less jarry yeah, than... Right. And I actually took the time out to like talk to one of the dudes at work quick. I'm like, can I just like follow you for a little bit? And like, oh, yeah. And he's like, yeah, come on, let's go. Yeah. He goes, don't worry about going fast, just worry about being smooth. Yeah, that felt smooth. Like... Smooth, yeah. And then you look down and you end up going faster anyway. Mm. So... <laughs> All right, we're heading back down the mountain now. It's just too foggy up there to get any like decent cinematic looking footage. Way too foggy. Heading back down now. We're gonna set up the Osmo Pocket 3 on the back of my bike and try try get some rollers. Give him the transmitter, the mic, put it in his bag or his pocket or something. Smooth audio as well. 32-bit float on the microphone. So should be some crispy clean audio, 32-bit float. Even if it gets too loud, you can bring it back down in editing so it won't sound clipped. But his exhaust is extremely loud, so I'm not sure if 32-bit float is gonna be able to save that. But we'll see how it goes. The shot might turn out terrible, but it's worth it's worth a try. I think I think it's gonna turn out good and with some practice it'll be it'll get even better. So let's set this thing up. Get the Osmo pocket. Click that on there. And this should be a nice one man roller. I'll give you this. Where should we put it in your bag or something or? Yeah you can yeah. Yeah, this is a bit of a sketchy setup. If it doesn't. Yeah, like that. Okay. Alright, let's give this setup a go, see what we can get. Well, 
let's review the footage. So what I think was happening when I'm like, when the bike's vibrating a lot, I think there's a lot of like wobble in the shot. Uh, okay. This is the first one. Like that looks pretty sick. There's just a bit of wobble. So sometimes on the way down the hill, I'd pull in the clutch and there wouldn't be as much. Yeah. Oh, the audio of the bike sounds good. Yeah, see that? That's when I'm like, oh, the bike right that's there. when I'm- Yeah, I get you now. Oh, okay. Yeah, like pulsating. Yeah, I think it's trying to focus as well as stabilize itself. Yeah. Whenever I hit like a bit of a bump or I'm revving it, probably takes some practice to figure out the best way yeah. to do it. First go, that doesn't look too bad for first go. Yeah, definitely. I think that was the shot, bro. Cool how you kind of move to bring it closer and further. Yeah, here when I'm revving up the engine, it's all crap, can't even focus. So there's a trick to it, but so here we're revving up then I pull in the clutch right there. Ooh. That's pretty nice, I say. That's, yeah, that's crazy how that's just <laughs> the camera, right? Yeah. Wow. That looks sick. Pretty good for one man roller setup, yeah, I'd that's, say. That's this mount held up pretty well though. The camera didn't come flying off, so I'm happy about that. I wonder if the vibration is kind of ruining the camera a bit though. And that's gonna do it for the first attempt of my one-man cinematic motorcycle roller setup with the Osmo Pocket 3. We faced a few problems, the main one being the vibrations the bike is sending through to the gimbal and camera. So I'll be doing a part two of this where I will be hopefully perfecting this setup. I've already done some research into what could solve this issue, including drone vibration dampener setups, the Insta360 vibration dampener, but then I came across this. I won't talk too much of it in this video, but I believe it should solve the problems we face today, plus, I wouldn't want to run this setup again without some sort of vibration dampening because it could slowly mess up the camera over time. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please subscribe, like, and share this video with all of your friends. It helps out so much more than you know. Click this playlist for more content like it, and I'll see you guys over there.